Hello and welcome back to another video uh, in differential equation and uh, we continue our discussion of linear equation with uh, linear equations with constant coefficients and this time the auxiliary equation uh, would produce repeated roots okay so let's say we have suppose we have a linear differential equation which is uh, in the form of uh, f of dy using uh, differential operators Okay, so this is a differential equation, and uh, if it's in differential uh, operator, then we could easily determine what is your auxiliary equation, f of m is equal to zero, and then upon solving f of uh, m, or upon solving the roots of f of m, of the function of m is equal to zero, we arrive at uh, repeated roots, let's say m1 is equal to b, m sub 2 is equal to b again, and m sub 3 is again equal to b. So what would be the solution of this particular uh, linear equation? So the solution is uh, very simple. Okay, upon determining the roots and knowing that they are repeated, the solution would be y is equal to c sub 1. Okay, uh, c sub 1 e raised to bx to bx only, no? plus c sub 2 x e raised to bx and then plus c sub 3 this will now become x squared e raised to bx okay so that would be the solution if you have three uh, repeating roots now general the general solution no the general solution would be y is equal to c1 e raised to bx plus c2 x e raised to bx and then plus until you will uh, arrive at c sub n x raised to n minus 1 your n here represents the number of roots okay your x here is uh, x raised to n minus 1 so as you can see here this is x squared and you have three roots three repeating roots okay and then e raised to bx where n is the number is the number of times a particular root no a root is repeated okay so let's say for example we have here three roots uh, we have here b and it's repeated three times so therefore this would be c sub 3 no this is c sub 3 like what i've said here and this would be x squared so let's apply that to a uh, specific problem let's have problem number one so first problem we have uh, 4y double prime minus 4y plus y is equal to 0 okay so let's transform this into a differential operator Okay, let's notate in differential operator form. So, 4d squared minus 4d plus 1 times the quantity y is equal to 0. So, therefore, your f of m or your auxiliary equation would be 4m squared minus 4m plus 1 is equal to 0. And if we will factor this out, this will uh, simply be 2m minus 1 times 2m minus 1 or we have 2m minus 1 squared is equal to 0 so therefore we have repeating roots here which is uh, m would be equal to positive 1 half okay positive 1 half okay and 1 half you know, it was uh, repeated 2 times Okay, it was repeated twice. So therefore, our uh, general solution would be y is equal to c sub 1. So there are two, no? c sub 1 uh, e raised to x over 2 plus c sub 2 x e raised to x over 2. And what we can do here for our final answer is factor out x over 2. And we'll have x over 2 times the quantity c sub 1 plus c sub 2x. Okay, that would be the final answer. So as you can see, 
this topic is very simple. Let's go to the next problem. We have here our problem number 2, v cubed plus 3v squared minus 4 times the quantity y is equal to 0. Now the auxiliary equation of that will be m cubed plus 3m squared minus 4 is equal to 0. So if we do synthetic division, let us write the coefficients of this one. So 1, 3, and then 0 for m, and then negative 4. So let's try 1 to be one of the roots. Okay. So bring down 1, 1 times 1 is 1, and then we have uh, 3 times uh, three times 1 is uh, 4, then 4 times 1 is 4, and then you add, that is 4, so this will be 0. So therefore 1 is a root, and therefore one of the factors would be m minus 1. And if you divide m minus 1, the quotient would be m squared plus 4m plus 4 is equal to 0. Now if we continue factoring, this term right here, m squared plus uh, 4m plus 4, would be quantity m plus 2 squared. Okay, so you have a distinct root, okay, which is uh, m sub 1 is equal to 1, and you have two repeating roots, okay, which is m is equal to negative 2. So this was repeated twice, no, because of the square. So what would be the general solution? So first, we have we have here uh, m is equal to 1, so let's deal with that first. So we have uh, c sub 1, e raised to x, and then for this one, it's twice. So we have c sub 2, e raised to negative 2x, and then plus c sub 3, x, e raised to negative 2x. Okay? And we can actually factor out e raised to negative 2x. Okay, and then we'll have times the quantity c sub 2 plus c sub 3x. And that would now be the final answer. Let's go to the next problem. So last example, we have 2d to the 4th minus 5d cubed minus 3d squared, those quantity times y. And uh, the auxiliary equation would be 2m to the 4th minus uh, 5m cubed minus 3m squared is equal to 0. Now, first of all, you can factor out m squared. So, you'll have 2m squared minus 5m minus 3 is equal to 0. And if you factor out this one, 2m squared, so we'll have 2m, we'll have m here. So, in order to uh, produce negative 5, you could have here, uh, this will become 3, and this should be 1. Okay, so we have negative 6 plus m, uh, negative 6, negative 6m, plus m, that would be negative 5, and then 1 times negative 3 would be uh, negative 3. So, what are the roots here? So, we have here m squared, so therefore, your m is equal to 0 was repeated twice and you'll have uh, m is equal to negative 1 half and also m is equal to 3 okay so what would be the general solution so let's say we write first your uh, 1 half let's say this is our m sub 1 and our m sub 2 okay and this would be corresponding to m sub 3 and m sub 4 okay so to say or not m sub 3 and n sub 4, only uh, m sub 3, but it's repeated twice. Okay, so we have first y is equal to c sub 1, e raised to negative x over 2, plus c sub 2, e raised to 3x. Okay, because those two are distinct. And then we'll have plus c sub 3, and then we have e raised to 0 plus c sub 4x e raised to 0 okay so let's simplify that we'll have c sub 1 e raised to x over 2 plus c sub 2 e raised to 3 and e raised to 0 is 1 so we'll have c3 plus c4x okay and that would be the final answer so i hope you learned something from watching this video regarding linear differential equation with repeated roots.